Hey there, and welcome to the screencast for how to navigate Microsoft Teams if you are a parent or a student. Um, so the first thing I want to actually do before I can navigate it is I want to get to Microsoft Teams, which is inside of uh, your student's Office 365 account. So to get there is very simple. I can go to vschsd.org, the district website, and over here right on the side, I have all these resources and they are in alphabetical order. So I'm going to scroll to Office 365 login and I'm going to click it. Now, if your students are not yet logged in, they will have to. Um, they should know their login information. Um, if not, they can reach out for it. Um, but once they log in and they have the right account name uh, and password, it's going to take them into Office 365 or they have their student email, their OneDrive or everything is stored online in the cloud, their applications. And right here you can see we have Microsoft Teams. So I'm going to click on Microsoft Teams right here and I'm going to let it load as you can see it doing it. Um, Microsoft Teams is where your students are going to have all of their classes, um, they're going to have all of their uh, assignments and all their communication with their teachers. So right here, um, just keep in mind I am on a teacher account so you might see different teams on my screen than your students will see on yours. Your students team should be all of the classes that they're in. Um, so I have a bunch of teams here. So. I do want to click on the team uh, that looks like a class, which is my ELA test team right here. So I'm going to click on this. And when I go in here, uh, it's going to bring me to the actual like team. Now, right off the bat, uh, you are always going to start. Um, you'll see the name of the team here. You will see the general right here. Um, which is where the main thread of all of your conversations are. That's assignments posted, that's notifications posted by the teachers. Um, if the teachers have like a document they want to share out, they can put it in here as well. Um, and all these channels are, are sort of just other areas where conversation can happen um, that are separate from the main one um, that is here in the general. From here, you also have files which is where a teacher can upload documents for students to look at, for students to view, um, and even for students to collaborate in. Every class will have a class materials folder. This class materials folder is locked just to the teacher. Um, so whatever the teacher puts in here, students cannot edit it, um, but they can open it, they can look at it, um, and they can see it. So anything that's not inside of the class materials folder, which like this you know, March 2020 calendar. This is actually something that students can go and they can click on and they can edit it. Um, but anything inside of there, they can. I'm gonna jump here to Class Notebook. Um, now from Class Notebook, uh, your student's teacher may or may not have this set up. If they have it set up, really all it is, and I'm gonna expand it right here, it is a uh, digital notebook, kind of like a, think about it like a five subject notebook where uh, your students can uh, have different sections inside of them. So this is the teacher view right here. So you can kind of see like I have a welcome, a collaboration space where students and teachers can collaborate together, a content library, which is very similar to that class materials folder that I, we looked at just a moment ago. And then I have access to all the students books, uh, all the sections in their notebooks. So your students, teachers may be putting class notes in here. They may put in handouts in here and it's all shared and everything is immediately shared with the teacher. Um, however, uh, your student's teacher may or may not be using this. In that case, uh, if they're not using it, you can kind of just skip over it. Um, and then we have assignments here, which is really the final thing I'm going to look at and probably the biggest thing uh, that your student is going to need to do in Teams. So right off the bat here, um, when your students go into assignments, again, if you're in a specific team, um, it is going to be a... Um, it's going to be all the assignments in that particular team. If I want to see all the assignments across all teams, that's actually this button right here off to the side outside of the team, uh, just right below the teams button right here. Um, so if I want to go inside and see a uh, assignment from the student view, uh, I'm going to click on this test HC assignment. Um, and as it's loading up, um, it's going to load up for me in the teacher view where I could see like who's turned things in, who hasn't turned things in, but this is what your student will see right here. When they log in, they will see um, any sort of information in the instructions, the title, the due date, um, the uh, student work if there's stuff attached to it, and the amount of points that's there. Um, on your student's end, this is again my teacher account so I can't show you this, but right up here kind of like where I'm outlining, right around here. 
um, there should be a big purple turn in button so that when your students are done, they click turn in, it goes right to the teacher. Um, and that's pretty much it. I know I have some other stuff up here, but these are the big four main ones. Your posts, where the communications are happening. Um, your files, where documents uh, are stored and students can look at. Your class notebook, which your teachers, your student's teacher may or may not be using. And your classroom assignments. Cool. So if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out. Take care.